guys, uh, today's September the 6th, uh, today's, um, uh, Labor Day. Labor Day. Uh, my dad, her dad, and her probably on the, two days ago, uh, he didn't see nothing, so, we're gonna get a Labor Day buck, we've been seeing this nice buck out here. Been seeing four bucks. Yeah. <coughs> Hoping I can shoot one that we named Coley. He's he's in velvet and I say Pluno. He's got his, curly brow ties, don't you? That's why we yeah. call him curly. They stick out the front of his head. So he's been showing up every night on the show camera, so probably almost every night on the show camera. Four out of the last five he's been here during legal shooting night. Yeah, so. So Daddy ain't letting you shoot a doe tonight, is he? No, he's not. Does are off limits. Yep. Um, I'm gonna hang tight and hopefully we can shoot my second buck of my life. Well, if you went ain't seen last year's hunt, six year old Bubba's first buck. I know he's the youngest person I've ever seen do it with a bow, so tonight I hope he becomes uh, the youngest person I know to have two bucks with a bow, so compound. Uh, with a compound bow, not a crossbow, so. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. Do you know? Yeah. It's close to we five. run off a doe in a fall and getting here. Yep. Start off the day. Good. It is 4.13. We've been showing her brown. I believe. And six. Believe. So, if I can keep Bubba from shooting at these little English sparrows and any other critters that show up, uh, we've had a, at least a buck for the last five nights. We've got a, a good wind from the feeder to us. I hope that wind holds up, because if not, when the thermals shift, that's all downhill. So we're going to sit down and get quiet. we probably got two hours and 15 minutes. That the quickest for a buck shows up, according to the trail camera. So we in plenty early. Going to sit here and enjoy some Mountain Dew and some water. Watch the birds eat what's left of our corn. We don't have much left feeders out. I dumped what we had on the ground, so. I may have to shoot them all. <laughs> they ain't gonna eat that much corn. There's 10 pounds out there. Anyway, we're gonna get off here and get quiet and hope to get another Bubba Strikes again. I hope that's what happens. Yeah. So, we're shooting the same setup. The Diamond Atomic, he does have a newer, bigger bow. Uh, but what I found is this little diamond atomic has such a short brace height. It has a long power stroke for a 16 inch draw. It's got, you know, 11 inches of stroke where it's actually under force. His bigger bow's got like 8 inches of brace height, so therefore it's only got 8 inches of stroke. And even though it's shooting the same weight and it's a higher end bow, it doesn't seem to have the same speed and kinetic energy. So we decided to go back to what we know works. <clears throat> Of course, I ain't weighed his bow. It's pretty much maxed out now. He shot one at 18 and a half pounds last year. At this draw weight, it's probably maxed out at 20 and a half, 21, somewhere in that neighborhood. So we know we got enough. Got the same broadheads last year. It'll shave my arm and I got hair missing where I've been working on them this morning. They ready to go. So we're just gonna sit back, get quiet. Hope the good Lord bless us with another Kentucky early buck. We don't care if he's in velvet or he's out of velvet. A lot of them have shed uh, that I'm seeing people kill around here, but the pictures of all four bucks last night was in here on his feeder. They still all had their velvet, so it wouldn't hurt my feelings if they lost their velvet. He's already got a velvet buck. I would have shoot it, one with just no velvet. And it costs a whole lot more money to mount one in velvet, so. It costs $500. Yeah, pretty high. Anyway, we're going to get off here, see what happens.
Well. She don't talk too loud. Well, well, you just saw me shoot a nice buck. Uh, made a beautiful shot. I was just nervous, never seen a buck like that. Hope you find him. So, want to go up, sail to the house, and see where I hit him at. Hope he is good. Man, seven years old. That's his second buck. Not exactly where you want to hit him. Penetration didn't look as good this time. Uh, I mean, the, the broadhead's super sharp. Uh, we could hear him as he, he went down the hill. He stopped and then he started crashing. And then we could hear a thump. We don't know if that was him falling. Oh, just, he may have hit that artery right a lot below the spine. He may, have, he may have severed that artery and bled him out. I don't know. We're gonna go to the house here in a minute. <clears throat> we're gonna watch a video. We're gonna say a lot of prayers. And hopefully the good Lord lets us find this deer, ain't it right, Bubba? Yep. Yeah. Was that exciting? Yeah. He was begging to shoot that doe. Please, Daddy, let me shoot that doe. I said, no. See, we've seen four bucks. The four bucks we have on camera. I'll put a trail camera picture. The one that I just shot was back the, there. The one that he just shot is the biggest. That's nine point on. I think he's just eight. I don't know why you keep calling nine, but he's a big eight. Anyway, we've had pictures all four of them, four of the last five days out here. <clears throat> and I admit, we got in the blind a little early. We got hungry. So we run the house, got a piece of pizza about five o'clock, come back down here and eat it. Twenty minutes later, we seen these four bucks in the field to our right. And they was working their way up here, then two. Four does actually come in behind us. I think they smelled us. And they went off in the woods. And then I was just playing with his wings for and, and the bucks followed them in the bucks followed them into the woods. And I kept telling him, be patient, they coming back. And sure enough the fawn and the doe come up. And then we wait about two more minutes and yeah. big the big one come out. Yep. We didn't expect him first. Nope. We expected uh, he, he took whack, his toe off guard, so well, well, I guess I just killed them all, I hope. I hope you did. We had three of them out there. We called Larry, Curly, and that was Mo. He was the boss. Mm -hmm. uh, Curly's got some curly brow tines. That maybe Mama or Sissy could shoot him, but I hope this one's dead. <laughs> We're going to go in and watch it on the big screen, see if we can tell anything. Probably going to be tracking this deer. I don't know if we already go for him tonight or just give him till morning, but we got to go watch a video. I've seen worse hit deer die by a pass, so he's shooting a big old broad head into it with a razor sharp. So we're going to go in and say a prayer, watch a video, and y'all stick tuned. Hopefully Bubba struck again. If not, this won't be his last buck. He's just seven years old. Be easy on him. <laughs> so uh, what is it you say, the sixth or seventh time you've been hunting? Six. Six time and you've aired two bucks. That's pretty good. At least this ain't in bail, but if we do find him, it won't be hard to drag without worrying about his belt. That's what I'm happy about. But this other seven. way, 70 pounds more than the last one. This, uh, that was old it's probably deer. about That deer was an old deer. This one's probably about That's four or five year old buck right there. Just don't have great genetics. He's, he's probably going to score about 160. No. <laughs> he Boy. might score 120. But that's a big old deer. Yeah. He, he's an old deer. He just, we were just talking about that yesterday. How so much big red school. He looked scored. like a 160 when he was still in velvet. But anyway, wow. let's uh, now he looks quit bitter. running and let's quietly get out and go up here to the house. Okay? Hey, okay. I love you, buddy. Love you. Give me some of that. Well, what are we doing, Bubba? Go and track that nice bucket that I shot. Did you say a prayer? No. You better go and say it. Okay. You go and say one. We'll get back to you. What do you think, Mom? <laughs> I can't believe it. Seven years old and killed two bucks. Yeah. Back to back years, maybe. Back to back years. Yeah. Maybe. This, this ain't no little buck. This is no, a good one. This was my buck. Yeah. This Mama get up this buck for Bubba. <laughs> He but came he, out full, and I was shooting him. He's <laughs> yep. an equal opportunity arrow, Flynn, yep. aren't you? Yep. Even the cat's excited.
Let's go see about finding this deer, y'all. We got Pissy with us this time. Yeah, we got an additional blood tracker this time. He stayed behind last time, but she's excited because his we turn. He just found hey, some blood. Mine. Yeah, tell him, Bubba. We already went down there and peeked at the yard, didn't we? Yeah, what we did. What we find? What was in the blood? Bubbles. There were some bubbles in it. So let's just get on down here and see what we can find. Sissy, tell him whose turn is it next. Mine. Who's up next? Me. Who? What girl? Ellie. This girl. <laughs> so this girl. I'm gonna whack one. All right. Whack one. Hope we find this one. A deer? I see him. You He's see down. a deer? He's down. Right there. You right see there. the deer? Right there. Is deer. that your deer? Yeah. He's down. What? what? Why didn't I see him earlier? I come to about right here. <laughs> that deer is down. Bubba, look at me. You right gotta say something. What do you think? That's awesome. <laughs> Turn your light off. <laughs> I see you see a shocking job by the other day. <laughs> she just shined the light. I, I just saw a white belly shine. Oh my shine. goodness. What do you think, boy? No. That inner deer didn't go 50 <laughs> yards. Let's hope he doesn't get up and run off. Yeah, let's hope he's dead. Didn't tell him. Oh my goodness. That's good stuff. Are you sure that's him? That's not like just some white trash. What are you going to do if you get down here with some white trash? Uh -huh. Well, Bubba said he heard him cry. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. We're waiting on Sissy. Come on, Sissy. Bubba. Go around right. this way, guys. Don't walk through all these weeds. You just, hey. you just trying to lie right on and off. You got it. There it is. He's right there. That's why I know it. Oh my goodness! Look at this buck. Boy, that's my arrow. You find your arrow? Yeah, broke it. Broke it. I saved that. Woo! Boy, look what a buck. <laughs> I can't believe this. Hold this. I got it. I got it. You down there and grab him by his head. Tell me about that bow. Oh my goodness. Look what a buck. We're going to have to get this thing drugged around where we can see it a little better. Can you lift his head up? Yep. Oh my goodness, Bubba. No. What a giant. What a giant. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> What do you think about it? It's awesome. <laughs> Is the light okay? Yeah. Well, tell us what happened. Well, we've been watching this deal from like June. Uh, he shared his bell like today or yesterday night because we, we seen, we're pretty sure we seen this deal last night at the field. We're not for sure. We probably okay. didn't. But uh, he shared it, filled it, so I'm happy about that. Uh, and he, we saw a little fawn. He, she came in, then there was a doe. I was just begging, begging to shoot that doe. Then what did they tell you? We ain't gonna shoot no buck if we shoot no doe, are we? He said, "Well, I still uh, remember what happened with that buck." 
that dough come in, then that buck brought it in with that dough brought it in. So uh, that's what happened this time. Dough brought it in. We're pretty sure we we thought that was another buck that was going to come up first, but it didn't. So this buck came out first. So, so he's the one that got it, right? Yep. He was cooling too. I just made a pitiful shot. Tell but me about the shot. Let's look at it. He didn't go. But how 50, far did he go? 30 yards, maybe. 30, 40 yards, yeah. You're probably right. Look at that. He spit up all that old corn he had. Well. All that corn he spit out of his mouth. <laughs> his last meal. Let's take a look at his butt. Oh, he's heavy to just fit. We're talking about a bow, a diamond atomic. That's literally, this is his second buck. It's a diamond atomic at about, uh, I think it's a 16 and a half inch draw. He's probably shooting 20 pounds of draw weight, 21 pounds, something like that. Last year's deer was 18 and a half. And uh, Kentucky don't have no minimum. He shoots a razor sharp two blade broad head and he's two for two with it. So, <laughs> I mean, daddy needs to be taking some lessons from him, I reckon. But anyway, we got to get this deer uh, 20 yards up the hill and get him back up there to the feeder. We was pretty sure we heard him crashing, didn't we? We didn't know if that was him running off or what. Yep. All right. Let's take some good pictures. Does that make you want to get out in the yard and practice and be ready? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Who won it? Obviously. Pretty good one. That's awesome, y'all. Me and Mom are watching them. And next time I know, Mom screams, He shot a buck! That was a pitiful no shot, but joking. we still found him. Me and Ellie saw it off from the window, didn't we? Diamond with a bow. See that bow. Diamond Atomic. It. It has killed two bucks now. The string shock ability, uh, it's just nice to have it. I got this when I was about, I don't know, about three years old. Let's see that thing. What is that? A Marco. Turn it around. It's a Mako. Mako, Simmons Hawk. A uh, 100 grain. A 100 grain. Yeah, it's a hundred grain four blade, but we take that little bleeder blade out and just make a two blade out of it, don't we? Yep. Then we razor sharp it on a on a sharpener. Yeah. As you can see, it don't take 70 pounds and 700 grain arrows. We weighed these arrows last year. Total arrow weight was like 270 grains. Last year he was shooting 18 and a half pounds. This year he's shooting a little over 20. So.